Hey everyone, it's Joshua, and today I will be watching episode 4 of Starmew. I will not be showing the episode on screen because of copyright, but you can sync the episode up with the timer at the bottom right corner of the video. And my episode will have about a 24 second Universal logo, and a 6 second Funimation logo at the start, so about 30 seconds of logos in total. So, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yep. Here goes the Universal logo. Really long. I'm really trying to remember the last time I saw a show that had this at the start. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Utah. All right. Team Motori practicing in infantry. Oh, good. You got this. Oh, is it Kaito? Yeah, Sukigami. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah, he's still going to be like that. Oh, Toru, no. Ah. Uh. Mother. Okay. To Haruto's award ceremony. Mm. Hmm. Yep, there he is, Haruto Sukigami. <laughs> it's going to be nice to learn some more about um, Kaito on here on this episode. And we've heard his brother mentioned before too as well. Mm -hmm. Otori <laughs> and Hiragi. Let's go. Ayanagi Academy, Act 4. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Who's in here? Oh, shoo.
Without any lessons, wow. Yeah, of course you do. Uh. Yeah, are, are you eating enough? Okay. Oh, come on. Take some. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you? Oh, are we getting a so I swear. <laughs> it just feels so sudden when they go into these here. Like, I wonder if I'll be able to recognize when it's about to happen at some point. <laughs> You know, we got a shoe kuka song here. All right. They're all different. Again, when I get over these walls. I think this is one of my favorite songs so far. All right. That really felt like it came out of nowhere. <laughs> hmm. Team Hiragi. All right. Yeah, Hiragi's team probably was some of the top people. Right, like... <laughs> hmm. So... That's me, so it's hard. It's... Oh, what's... Okay. Hey, he's only there because he failed too. Apparently. Oh. 
Okay. First cow council members. Hmm. <laughs> What are you thinking, Tsukigami? All right, Kuga. Are we already really like halfway through? Jeez. No. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, where is he? Genji's there. Okay. He left early. Mm -hmm. They were talking about his brothers. Yeah, th yeah, the award. Yeah. yeah. Otori just got here, I guess. <laughs> it's probably his family, right? Father's a famous theater director. Yeah. He has a lot of pressure on him, probably. A stage actress. Oh. Well, he did. You know, I'm going to be honest. I was not expecting Takahito Koyasu to be voicing him. <laughs> but I'm really happy about it. <laughs> It's just not the voice I expected to hear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh. So you about to sing? Come on. Now a song here seems to make way more sense than whatever we got with Shu earlier in the episode. <laughs> Ooh. I'm liking the visuals for this one. Place I couldn't reach no matter how much I walked. Rejected the picture of myself that I imagine. Hmm. Oh. My horse voice into the infinite sky. <sighs> okay, another great song. <sighs> In the limited sky. <sighs> okay. Some of the lyrics there, though, yeah. Uh, I mean, he definitely has a lot of pressure on him with his family. And now after seeing what his brother's done, uh, it's probably going to make, make it even worse. Uh. Oh, he knows about that already. Uh. Oh. Uh. 
Yeah. Yeah, I know. He's not necessarily mad at Yuta. It's just Yuta was the one that was right there. <sighs> nice to see Tengenji defending him there, at least. Aww. <laughs> Well, yeah, but it's, yeah, oh. I mean, it's not just you, though, it's like, uh, right, oh. and I'm not sure it's necessarily that he hates his brother, right, he probably just hates the comparisons with him. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Those who had fun are winner. So basically, have fun, huh? Oh. Probably not going to be that easy for him. <laughs> oh, Tinkinji. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that's when the guys from Team Hiragi. Do we know their names yet from Team Hiragi? Oh. oh no, this is gonna... Oh. Thank you. That would have been a mistake. <sighs> That's right. No. No. At least he considers him his friend. Does Kaito feel that way? Ugawa. Okay. And was that Ego? <laughs> Are we sure this is a good idea? Toraishi? Okay. Toru, get in there and fight. No. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you hang on to it. Aw. Can you try to get along, please, Kaito? No, the lunch! Ooh. Nice catch. Yeah. 
Yay, Hiragi. <laughs> so. Were you not the problem? All right. <laughs> All right. Nice. Well, hopefully any punishment they get isn't going to be too bad. Things are going well. <laughs> hey. So he's here, huh? Okay. You could have been the leader of the Cow Council. Ooh. All right. Yeah, not going to go see him, Haruto. All right. Act five. Well, nice to see those two talk to each other. And of course, we get Kaito at the end here. Please be punctual next week as well. Yeah, so I wasn't really sure how much of Haruto we were going to be seeing in this series. But, um, especially after that ending scene now, I'm hoping that we'll get to see a bit more of him. And especially because he's voiced by Takehiro Koyasu. That makes me want to see him even more now. <laughs> Love his voice. But, yeah. Really good episode. Um, love both songs. 
Um, especially Shu's song was great. And I love the visuals for... Um, for Kaito's. So, yeah. Really good music in this show, which, again, doesn't surprise me. But, yeah. That was episode four of Starmew. I hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.